Well, hey guys, it's Paul. Welcome to the channel. You know, I did uh, my first haul video where I went and bought a doorman a couple weeks ago. And it was such a smashing success. I thought I'd come on and do a different kind of a haul video. This is one where I didn't go to any stores. The stores came to me. In other words, I bought some crap on Amazon. Well, actually, I, I did go out get some... Uh, prescriptions at CVS and that's where I picked up this first thing which is let's see, my face. they are the Bic Gelocity now I like the Bic Velocity but these have the gel ink and they're not cheap but CVS gives you five dollars of CVS cash which I used to always just throw out and I thought to myself well, if I find something for like close to five bucks, just buy that. So that's what I do. This one was a little bit more there, like three dollars a pack. I bought two packs. Six. Well, with tax and all, I think I paid a dollar forty for both of them. And to be honest, that's about what they're worth. I think the Velocity ones are better. I don't think I'd be buying these again. They're all right. It's just um, the tip. It's just too fine, I think. Too fine for me. So, anyway. Won't get those again, but almost for free. You know, yeah, I got some scratch cards, so I want to do a scratch card. A different version than the one I was doing. Now, Ben... Well, speaking of Ben, let's start with his thing here. He's saying, oh, he needs some boots. Like we're always going on about once in a while we go out with the remote control stuff and whatnot. But <laughs> he likes these ones. Nice boots, you know. Too nice, really. Camix. They're uh, rated for that yeah, 40 below. I mean, they, they're, they're waterproof, 40 below. What are you going to do? They look pretty nice not heavy that's what's amazing they are not heavy so we'll see that's what Ben he needed boots he said so alrighty give him some candies that's the first thing so now I gotta get some some so I've needed a mouse pad now Ben thinks this is so funny we've been Fighting about it all day, really. Not fighting, fighting, but you know what I mean. He thinks it's funny. He thinks I messed up. He's got a razor, because he likes everything razor. Razor, keyboard, the chroma key thing. Changes color. And, and razor this, razor that. Razor, um, the expensive razor mouse thing. He's got the razor mouse pad. I think it's like 20, 30 bucks, something like that. Great. So... I haven't had a mouse pen forever. I just always used the, but you know what? Um, after a while, it's kind of, if you're on there a lot, especially on like this table, it kind of rubs. So I was going to get a big mouse pad. And so he's like, oh, you got to get, I think it's called Steel Series or something. It was like 10, 12 bucks. But they send it out from what I was reading in the reviews. They send those in a roll. It's all rolled up. People were complaining that it kind of stays rolled up. They're having a hard time getting a roll out of it. So I was looking for some other ones. Of course, cheap. Got to go cheap. This was like seven, eight bucks. Haven't tried it yet. Still in the box. It's called a Spiegen. Something like that. Spiegen. Mouse pad. Uh, it's big. It's this size. It's not rolled up. It comes in a, at least. I thought to myself, hey, if they're at least smart enough to sell it in a flat box, maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. Um, so we're going to try it anyway. Uh, the cool thing it does it says that it's washable. So I've never washed a mouse pad before. If you have. And he had bad results, or if you've watched one and he had good results, well, let me know. I didn't know, like, you could wash. I never even thought about washing a mouse pad before. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to put that on there. They welded it, I think. I'm going to say, they don't scrimp on the boxing on this bad boy. It's picked third in a tablet, you know. 
Oh, and that's another thing. A lot of the things, the mouse, they were all, he had like the name of the company all over the place. This, at least, it's kind of subtle. You can't even hardly see it. It's here in the corner. It's not real bright and it's very small. I mean, this is nice. I want, it, it's called Silky. It's got the real rub. Well, let's see what it says here. Um, non slip textured rubber base firmly grips. That's what you want. You don't want the base all sliding around. I And I gotta get this puzzle out of the way. I've been working on this forever, but let me uh, move the thing right here in the wood. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. It's not moving. It feels really silky nice on top. Yeah, pretty cool. That was like seven, eight bucks, something like that. And it's flat. Nicely packaged. I like it so far. And then, um, lastly, I got these. This is my second pair. The first pair is still working. Ben got these, um, they're the HyperX, it's the cloud, the original ones. They have a cloud too that's a little bit more money, but it's also USB and it's got like this bulky kind of like control thing. I don't know. It's The other ones are cloud too, or it's supposed to be cool because it's at, uh, oh, what is it? What are they called? Some surround sound. Surround sound. Like, I'm not doing gaming. I don't care about surround sound. I figured I'd save like 10 bucks and get these. The bins were white. These are white. Uh, the HyperX Cloud. What I did like about these was um, the microphone. I mean, obviously, when you put them on, you can't hear nothing. They really do cancel out the sound in the room. Uh, but they're very comfortable, and they're really strongly built. Like, he bought there again. He had bought the Razer ones. I don't know where my little here is. He had bought the Razer, um, headphones for, like, 80 bucks. And I guess they were all right, but to me, they always, they felt really bulky, and they did not last long. I mean, he is such a Razor fanboy, but they really, they, they lasted, I think, two or three years and kind of just fall apart. I'm going to cut my finger off if I don't put this down. Man, these, is that a recurring theme? Is it just me? Oh, these boxes are just like too much. slaughtering the box. Because I remember these are packed pretty nice. I tried um, a different brand that were not noise canceling. I thought, well, I'd just get some against the ear ones. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I would just try to Against the ear ones, but oh my goodness, they're, they sounded okay, I guess. They're less money, but the comfort level is just awful. And they didn't have a mic. And now I've been kind of doing some tutorials. And I was always having to grab Ben's because uh, the mic on these really sounds great. When you're using like uh, that uh, open broadcaster software for doing like screen, you know, capture. I mean, is this? It's amazing the tight fit of this box. It's like artwork, <laughs> right? When you get like a box with the, the fancy <laughs> paper. It's pretty, pretty highfalutin. Um, this has the, well, I'll show you. Kind of a snazzy box. And they're lightweight. 
for what they are. They they may look heavy, but they're not heavy. This is what. Okay, let's get this here all out properly. Here's the microphone. Here's some extra thingy jiggers. They really do package everything nicely. And this is the, uh, if you'd so desire, like a carrying. I remember that from last time, how well it seemed like everything, just the fit and finish of even the packaging is that much is top of the line. In my opinion, it's nice. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what I wanted to show you was it's a braided cable and so it should last. It's nice. But what I wanted to say was like this is where his razors broke. It was like a plastic thing that came down and it just in the center and it just from putting it on and off it snapped. This is like one piece of metal that is shrouded by this nice foam rubbery type stuff. But it goes from this end all the way over to this end and it's metal going in to the things. I mean, they're not breaking. You just can't hardly break them, I don't think. I mean, so definitely I like these ones. Yeah, I didn't feel, you know, something really works. I didn't feel the need to go for the newer ones. That, you know, maybe they changed the mic on them or something. I know these ones work good, so that's all I need, you know. They're really nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so that concludes my official number two stay at home and let the items come to you haul. <laughs> uh, so anyway, guys, I just felt like, oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm forgetting the scratch card. I to clear off a spot here. Okay, now this is a new game to me. So it says uh, match any of your numbers to either lucky number, win the prize, get a shamrock, win that prize automatically, get a seven symbol, win all five prizes shown. Okay. So up here apparently it says lucky number. So I got my Star Wars puzzle. I'm still working on that on my other channel underneath this. It's like it just still got this on here so uh, 19 and 14 apparently are the lucky are the lucky numbers so now I guess I come over here and I get a 2 and I got a win oh okay, okay. What's it say if you get a shamrock? It says, uh, get a shamrock, win that prize automatically. Okay, so I got a shamrock, it looks like I got a dollar. So, okay, we'll take that, get our money back anyway. That is officially the first time I've won on the channel. So I guess uh, switching games was a, a good move. All right. Very good. <laughs> it's a, the first winner um, of 2017. New game. First try. Winner. You gotta love that. Maybe that's a good, uh, good omen for good things to come. So, hey guys, thanks for wasting a few minutes and keeping me company. We'll see you.